Hello, hello, Charmaine here, and I'm holding this piece of demonstration fat and muscle, and I'm gonna share a little bit about this in a couple minutes. I just wanted to get you intrigued. <laughs> so I wanna start by saying, if you're watching this video, then obviously the idea of getting as healthy as possible so that you can thrive and you know prevent any negative outcomes of anything that comes at you, because let's be real, life is crazy. There's challenges coming at us. There's um, bacteria and virus in the air. There, there is now, there always has been. You know, there's diseases and stuff like that. And so I'm not, I wanna first say that I don't believe it's helpful to focus on fear and what you don't want, because when we focus on what we don't want, where our attention goes, our energy flows, and we start to pull that into our life. And so I am not gonna talk about the big C word on this video, other than saying, if we focus on being afraid, I'm not saying don't be careful in whatever you need to do to protect yourself and each other. However, if you focus on getting sick or not getting sick, versus focusing on thriving and health, um, those are two very different things. So uh, your words are powerful. What comes out of your mouth comes into your life. And so I invite you, first of all, mindset wise, focus on what you want. You wanna thrive, you wanna be resilient when faced with viruses and things that are thrown at you um, because that's gonna be a lot more empowering for your body and your body feels what you think and what you say. So that's what I wanna start by saying. And so I wanna share with you some really beautiful, really useful, hi Jerry, hi Audrey, some beautiful, useful steps you can take to live at a comfortable body weight. And I wanna be careful here because I am not talking only about weight loss. I don't think there's anything wrong with holding extra weight as long as you feel good. However, I'm not here to like shame anyone. Um, I just know when I released some excess weight, fat from my body, I felt lighter. Knock on wood, I stay very healthy year round. And you know, my clothes fit good, my confidence is up. I can chase after my kids with more ease. I can run up the stairs now without my knee getting sore. And so I'm not, it's not so much about the number on the scale, it's more just about how you feel and how your body reacts. And we do know, stats show, and I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole because that could get really crazy, but stats do show that people have a lot better outcomes if they are getting, if they do get sick from a virus, specifically the one where the big C word that everyone's talking about these days, but outcomes are much better if you are thriving, if you are you know, taking care of your health and living at a healthy body weight, whatever that is for you. And by the way, my BMI is almost overweight. So I'm not like a huge scale person, but I know I feel good. Um, and I used to be you know, 30, 40 pounds heavier than I am now. And so I know what it feels like on both sides. So without further ado, uh, I will get in to the steps that I wanna share. So the first is, it's maybe gonna be kind of unconventional because I'm a, health coach, a fitness coach, a nutrition coach, a mindset coach, but I went for ice cream with my kids last night. <laughs> I got a butter ripple ice cream cone from uh, my favorite ice cream shop here in Calgary. I savored it. I actually got a small cone and I savored it. And so some people think, oh my gosh, if I want to lose weight, I'm going to have to cut out everything I love. I'm going to have to never eat ice cream with my kids or grandkids. I'm going to have to never have baked goods. I'm going to have to give up all these yummy things. And that becomes kind of a non-starter because you don't even want to get started because it's so extreme and you feel like you're going to be deprived instantly. So if you can resonate with that feeling or thinking, okay, here we go. I gotta pull up my bootstraps. I'm gonna go on a diet. I'm gonna lose the weight once and for all. I'm gonna cut everything out and drop the sugar, drop the wine, drop this ice cream. You know, that all or nothing mentality actually doesn't work. And so kind of my tagline recently has been, I wanna help women lose weight and feel amazing while enjoying ice cream with their kids or grandkids because I truly do, I want, you, I want that for everyone. And so the way it works, because you might be thinking, well, Charmaine, I can't just eat ice cream all day and live at a healthy weight and drop some fat, and that's true. And so a strategy I like to share with my clients is moderation over deprivation. And so what that means is we allow ourselves, we allow ourselves the treats in a small amount in moderation. Hi, Ruth. We allow ourselves some treats in moderation 
without saying, oh, I have to be all on the wagon or all off the wagon, because give me a hands up if you can relate to that all or nothing mentality. Okay, I gotta give it all up, I gotta be extreme, I gotta be all on the wagon, or I'm not even gonna bother, I'm too far off the wagon. So I know some people can relate to that because that's the number one mindset I hear from my clients, is I struggle unless I can be perfect, then I fall off the wagon. And I wanna show you that there's a middle path. And so how that looks is you choose to eat, I, I say 80% of the time, choosing to eat nourishing foods that are also yummy 80% of the time. And then there is room for the nachos and the pizza and whatever, insert your favorite thing. Some of the time, 20% of the time is kind of what the ratio that works for me. And so fat loss and fat release and weight loss doesn't have to be so extreme. And I do believe one of the reasons we either fall off the wagon or we never get started is because we think, oh, I'm gonna have to deprive myself and it's gonna be so hard. And yeah, hey Janet. So I also had a client and, and she was like, oh, like every year at Christmas, she's like, I gotta give up the, I gotta make my baked goods for my family and my work colleagues, but I can't eat them. And then she'd be like, oh, but I'm just gonna have one. And she'd feel guilty about it. And then she'd like end up eating like way too many cookies and feeling horrible about herself. And her weight reflected that. And so I taught her this moderation over deprivation. I said, what if you just let yourself have one or two cookies and savor it? And she that was a big, you know, that was a big mindset shift for her, but she tried it. And she sent me a picture, I remember, right at Christmas time, and she's like, eating her, she's like, she had her glass of milk and her one cookie and she savored it and she was amazed. She's like, this actually works. Excuse my language, but this shit actually works um, because she was shocked. She's like, I can't believe I could just have one and that could be enough and I don't have to feel bad about it and then if I don't feel bad about it, I don't go down the rabbit hole and keep eating because one Oreo is different than a sleeve of Oreos. One small ice cream cone at my favorite ice cream shop is different than a huge banana split or you know one and then raiding the pantry when you get home or something. So moderation over deprivation. If you like the idea but you're not sure how that would look, I love to share more on that topic and I do have a longer, I'm on Facebook Live so I'm not gonna be here all day, but I do have a longer class, it's totally free and it's Thursday. So if you're interested in coming to my next master class, it's Thursday and I'll also pop the link in the comments after this video. So that's kind of my first step is okay, what if you embrace this moderation over deprivation approach where you allow yourself some of the goodies, but you don't feel guilt about it and you don't let it go off the rails because the guilt is actually, here's the secret. If you feel bad about your, what you're eating, then you feel bad about yourself. When you feel bad about yourself, you make poor food choices and you go down this hole. And so that's why guilt and shame around food are not very helpful. Even though a lot of us do it, they're not helpful. So I'm gonna move on. The second one, which kind of ties into how I started this video actually, is I want you to focus on what do you want, okay? So instead of thinking, oh, I don't want to get sick or I don't want to be taken down by a virus or you know, I don't want to be overweight or I don't want my clothes to be tight or whatever your thing is, what studies show is that what you focus on is what you start to attract. So focusing on what you don't want is actually just gonna put all the energy on what you don't want and you're gonna manifest more of that. But if you focus on what you do want, you're gonna to start to get more attraction towards that. So I used to say, oh, I don't want saggy bat wings. And then I actually was like, wow, I don't feel like exercising when I say that to myself. I don't feel like eating healthy. I feel like crap about myself. And so I started saying, I want toned arms. Instead of saying, I don't want saggy triceps, I started saying, I want tri um, toned arms. And guess what happened? This motivation unlocked in me and I wanted to exercise, I wanted to work my arms, I wanted to go for walks, I wanted to drink lots of water, I wanted to eat healthier because love and inspiration are about a million times more powerful than like self-criticism and fear. Okay, so if you can be excited where you're headed, I'm, I'm gonna live a long life, I'm gonna be resilient against disease, I'm gonna be all these things. That's a way more strong, amazing, inspiring focus than just like, I don't wanna be overweight or I don't wanna get sick. Does that make sense? Give me a like or something so I know that you're tracking with me and this is making sense. Hello, Jessica, I see you popping on. So, you know, I also just wanna share some practical things because let's be honest, I think most of us do know a lot about health and weight loss and that stuff. And it's sometimes really good just to, you know, 
focus on it again because sometimes we just we lose our way we get busy whatever so one thing I know this is gonna sound kind of cliche or whatever but water is our best 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 friend okay and I personally love water but some people don't, I get that. Um, but I aim to get at least 10 glasses a day. And what water actually does is it stimulates your body, it helps clear out toxins, it just helps you be at a better you know, state in all ways. Um, it also helps with weight loss, which is great. So stay hydrated is gonna be a huge health advantage for you. I'm gonna take a sip. Hopefully you have some water nearby, you can take a sip. Cheers. Another thing to help your weight is, which is gonna help your immunity, it's gonna help your confidence, it's gonna help your health overall, is to get moving. And you know, you might know this about me, I kind of like lifting weights, but I do not wanna scare anyone off because if you don't like lifting weights, literally just literally get moving whether that's like shaking your body around doing a couple like tap outs maybe it's going for a walk maybe you love to swim i think we get in our head and we think it has to be like this super long workout it has to be extreme it doesn't anything to raise your metabolism to get your heart pumping is going to benefit you so if you love to dance go dance if you love to swim go swim do something you enjoy because also studies show that if you enjoy your movement choice you're going to pursue it way more often than if you don't so get that body moving i know that one's so obvious but also share it's obvious because you i mean i'm not a big calorie chatter but i don't count calories but obviously when you move your body you're burning more calories than if you're sitting. So that's gonna help with weight release. And another cool thing, just a little tiny plug for weightlifting, um, whether you're lifting kids or bottles of wine or weights, you're going to have more lean muscle. And what lean muscle, what's cool about lean muscle, I'm gonna bring my demo in. <laughs> this is where the demo comes in. What's cool about lean muscle is it take, well, one cool thing about it, and you might've noticed this if you ever did a fitness journey, but, uh, Lean muscle takes up less space on your body than fat. So these weigh the same, about two and a half to three pounds. They weigh the same, but they take up a different amount of volume. So that's one interesting thing. So if I release fat from my body and I put on muscle from doing weight training, I might not even lose a pound on the scale, but my body looks different and it's healthier. So that's a little tip. Um, and the other cool thing about muscle mass is that it's metabolically active. I'm gonna share a really bad joke. You might not like it, you might not think it's funny, but have you ever had a fat cramp? <laughs> Probably not, but have you ever had a muscle cramp? So the reason I asked that question, it's kind of funny I thought, but it, give me a smile if you thought that was funny. But the reason you have sometimes muscle cramps is because muscle is active, it's always doing stuff. And that's why muscle w actually burns more calories at rest. So that's why there is a benefit to getting exercise and also um, there is a benefit to getting specifically weight-bearing exercise where you actually build some muscle. So walking hills or doing push-ups or squats or anything like that, that's weight-bearing activity. So there's my little fat and muscle joke. Ha ha ha. I didn't see any laughs. So I guess since I am a people pleaser, my heart is a little bit uncomfortable now because I didn't get any laughs, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. So that's, that, those are some things I really wanted to share with you. And I believe now more than ever, it's very loud out there what's happening in the world with our health. And so, you know, anything you can do and you decide that, you know, what's the best thing to do for your health. But one thing we all know for sure is that moving your body, drinking more water, thinking more positive thoughts, that's gonna to totally help you have an inspiring goal. And the last thing I'll share is, you know, and this is not a plug because I, um, I just love, and it's my truth, is that if you have struggled, I struggled for so many years, by the way, for 20 years with my weight. If you have struggled with your health and your body and your weight for five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years, and you keep telling yourself, you should be able to get this figured out by now, I just wanna ask you, how's that working for you? Because I used to criticize myself to no end. I would say, Charmaine, you're such a loser. You have a kinesiology degree. You have nutrition certifications. You're a personal trainer, for God's sakes, and you still can't get your weight figured out. But the thing for me was, I, it wasn't that I lacked knowledge. 
And I think that's a really big thing that is important to say is it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple to be healthy and lose weight, but it's not easy. Simple does not equal easy. Simple means drink lots of water, think positive thoughts, exercise, eat vegetables, you know, don't go overboard, but that's not easy in our culture. There's a lot of things that make it really hard to do that. Stress, so much work demands, life demands, chaos, like there's a lot of things that make it pretty hard to do that stuff. And I remember, um, my, uh, and my sister wouldn't mind if I shared this, but she struggled with her mental health quite a bit, like depression. And I remember talking to her psychiatrist and I'm like, she just needs to get her exercise and she needs to uh, think happy thoughts and she needs to call her friends and socialize and she needs to do this and this and I had this fucking roadmap for my sister and you know what the psychiatrist sorry excuse my language but you know what the psychiatrist said to me he's like if it was that if it was that easy then a lot of people wouldn't struggle with depression because the thing about it is it's not so complicated to get to lose weight or to overcome mental illness. It's like there are steps, but it's not easy. And so I share that because it reminded me of weight loss because I'm like, come on guys, get a walk in every day, drink your 10 cups of water, um, do some squats, eat more vegetables, eat protein. Uh, get enough eight hours of sleep do all these things and people are like yeah, okay It sounds good, but it's not as easy as it sounds So that's why I wanted to share because I struggled for so many years being like duh Why can't I do this? But just because something simple doesn't make it easy and what my key was Well, I had lots of keys, but one big one was I got support instead of being like I got to freaking do this on my own and walk alone and be lonely and frustrated all the time and learning and banging my head against the wall and feeling like I was swirling the drain and I was two steps forward, four steps back, I hired coaches and that's the, that's the truth. And I was like, I'm just done with struggling alone. And so I share that because, you know, if you're struggled alone for a long time, it might be because you need some support and there's lots of ways to get support. If you're interested, reach out, I can give you some ideas. And so that's what I wanted to share today, just some ideas for how to get rolling on your health journey um, and just protect your health from the inside out and, and the outside in, however you see fit. Um, but I just wanted to uh, share that and I wanna invite you on Thursday, I have a free class. It's awesome, it's, it's me sharing my three best ways, my steps to, to lose weight Without the dieting, there's no dieting involved, that just doesn't work. It doesn't work actually for most people, but it really didn't work for me. So I share how to actually lose weight, enjoy the journey, um, and, and keep it off, and get in a really good lifestyle that you love. So if you wanna to come to my free class on Friday or Thursday, it's at 10 a.m. Mountain, I'll put the comment link below to register. And if you have questions about the video, let me know. If you thought it was positive and helpful, please share it, and um, just, um, I kind of want to finish and close by just, <laughs> I'm kind of woo-woo. <laughs> I just want to send love to you and, and just light. And I don't know about you, but I feel things very deeply. And so there's a lot of crazy things in the world right now. And so I just want to send you love and light and a big hug, a virtual hug. And I hope that you can spread a little bit of light to someone else um, today because I think the world can use it now more than ever. And I ah, love you. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.